what are you two doing? Y'all just back on out of here. Don't go for that gun. Today we're going to talk about the Core Essentials Western Belt. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at uh, Bruno here, my Rock Island Armory Compact 1911. Now this gun has been safety checked, and as you can see, I put some of those uh, polymer fake ivory grips on it, but it kind of sets the gun off. Now, a lot of people who are 1911 aficionados, they kind of poo-poo at the uh, Philippine 1911s. But listen, hey, this one's pretty accurate. And uh, the blue is where I shot this yesterday, and uh, the lighting wasn't right, so I had to reshoot it today. Uh, would I trust my life to this gun? Well, I don't often carry it, but this is my bedside gun. Well, after about five or six years of heavy use. Got to be about time to retire my Mexican uh, belt. <laughs> and this classic Smith & Wesson belt buckle, that there's a story behind that that I'll have to tell one day. But uh, it'll never go away because there's some sentimental value. So I've been looking and trying to decide what kind of belt, because a good belt's going to run you $70, $80. A lot of the things advertised on YouTube and on the internet for uh, gun buyers, concealed weapons carriers, I tend to look at as being tactical trash. Well, maybe not trash, but, you know, trying to get people to buy it because somehow it's tactical. And I kind of pegged Core Essentials as that. But when they came out with the Western belt buckles, and I love belt buckles, and I saw the bull, and I'm like, wow, I like that a lot. So I said, well, the belt buckle comes with the belt, so let's give it a chance. All right, it's got a unique clasp system, and this is locked in. It's not that belt buckle's not going anywhere, and you adjust it right here. There's an inner track that holds the belt up, and this is a sturdy belt, a lot sturdier than what I've been using. Let's go ahead and put this on so you can see how it works. Now the uh, belts, these are an inch and a half. I think all the Western belts are an inch and a half, but some of the other belts they have are like an inch and three quarters. They've got a variety of belt buckles for the Western belts. You can also get this in black leather. Now, when you secure it, you just put it in, it latches in and you know it's not going anywhere. And this belt's rated for six pounds. To adjust it, you just pull it taut, or if you need to release it a little bit, you just pull it this way. Now they're measured from the inside. And what they recommend is whatever pant size you wear, that you go uh, four inches over now I wear 32, 34, depending on the pants and the cut and uh, how much stress eating I'm doing at whatever period of time. So uh, initially I, I did uh, 38 and that was way too much and 
So I went down to 36 and uh, I used a uh, pair of leather shears. I didn't use regular scissors, although I'm sure you could cut with regular scissors. And that was too much. So I finally had to go to 35. So I was kind of happy about that. Core Essentials. Got a buddy It's also got one. He loves his and I like this one so far. And uh, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness.